Hey guys, today we're going to be reacting to the Black Ops 6 kind of reveal trailer of the campaign, the multiplayer, and also the zombies. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, also, if you're thinking what's around my neck, I've just did my first 10k uh, run in my hometown. So that's why I'm wearing a medal today. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit tired, but we're going to get straight into the reaction. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, let's watch Black it. Ops 6, we're taking players to a new but familiar era the early 90s. In true signature Black Ops fashion, our story builds on real history, thrusting players into a conspiracy where a shadowy force This was the uh, the campaign the overview so. of the US government, branding anyone who resists as traitors and forcing players to go rogue for the first time to fight the very machine that created them. I'm actually got the like we're getting a, crafting every an actual campaign to the old Modern Warfare attitude players three. from the Black Ops franchise. Oh, I can't believe that. The camp I don't know you guys if you're Black watching Ops this have would have played the campaign of Modern Warfare 3. I hated it. Movement system. New way to push beyond your limits and move like an action hero. Oh damn. You'll see a sneak peek of that later today. Oh, that's cool. Ground based zombies is absolutely back and better than ever. And you can be sure it's full of surprises. With that Let's step into the mind-bending yes, campaign experience we've been crafting with our partners. Come on, at Raven. come on, some good, good campaign. Come on, let's go. This game has to be good. If it's not good, I think I'm completely done with God. Every Call of Duty player has a favorite campaign mission. When we set out to make Black Ops Six, we were focused on delivering missions so iconic that they stick in your memory long after. We are bringing that action-packed blockbuster feel to every step of the narrative. And I think that's what Treyarch is so good at as well. Variety, like, look at that, that was pretty good. Gameplay ...and more options to finish each mission. We can do this loud or quiet. Then you get to choose. Love that. Ooh. The game is packed with unexpected moments of Black Ops mystery. It's a high-octane spy thriller where you're never sure who to trust and what's real. And it's all set against the backdrop of the early 90s. The Soviet Union was crumbling after the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. The US is the only remaining superpower. The Gulf War was dominating headlines everywhere. And there was a growing mistrust in government reflected everywhere across the music, television, and pop culture of the time. When we talk about the Black Ops timeline, Black Ops 6 comes after the events of the Cold War, but is directly tied to the 1986 flashbacks in Black Ops 2. The aftermath of which hmm. has left our heroes oh, interesting. in dire circumstances. We need a some you should see. Is that Woods? Is that Woods or Mason? Well, the rich and gritty history of previous franchise huh? titles with bold new characters. With veteran Frank Woods as our through line in our Oh story. Frank Woods! Get out of here. Oh, he looks badass. In this new chapter, we see a different side of Woods following his cool. traumatic injury at the hands of Raul Menendez. Yes. He's been pulled from the field as he adjusts to a new role right. within the CIA, often behind a desk or on the other end of a radio. His protege is Troy Marshall, who's been making a name for himself in the field. Marshall is a reluctant leader driven by a strong moral compass. He looks cool. Marshall and Woods are full, working full, with another full outfit in Black Ops design. 6, CIA handler Jane Harrow. Graphics look nice, She's by the way. Like I'm liking the, uh, the, the face models. Helps manage good. their relationships within the agency. Woods' ability to operate in the shadows has always been hugely valuable to the CIA, whether they want to admit it or not. And Marshall has the ability to make tough calls in the field, ones that Harrow trusts him to make. But when an operation goes wrong, Woods and Marshall are suspended and ultimately forced to go rogue. They soon realize they have to trust each other to get to the bottom of what's going on. Without any of their usual resources, they have to build their own team, recruiting two exciting new characters in Felix Newman, a technical genius, and Savati Dima, a mysterious assassin. Oh, with the end of the Cold War, these former enemies have become new allies. And with the sudden return of notorious operative Russell Adler, who'd gone missing for months, a former ally may have become a new enemy. I, I may be wrong, but wasn't he in the last game, Black like Cold War? Well, was he in that game? I didn't play that game, actually. And unique experiences. Our goal was to offer players a wide variety of mission types, each crafted from the ground up. One moment, you'll be storming a palace. The next, you'll be pulling off a heist at a casino. 
We aim to take players all over the world and immerse them in vastly different experiences. Good. That's Within what we need. Missions, we wanted gameplay to we need something new, something different. Ways, giving players the freedom to navigate through them as they see fit. Where we have different combat styles, we also have conversation opportunities where you can talk, barter, and manipulate your way into different experiences. And we think you'll want to replay levels to see them Nothing all. Nothing really new. I know I say it a lot in like every video, but graphics look nice. Slider mechanic. I want like a jump dive mechanic. Like we saw earlier in the trailer. That'd be cool. Using that in zombies. We're excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide oh, different no, challenges not a joke, for no. player. Oh god, that one. So okay. whether they choose to go in guns Ooh, or minigun. Ooh. Or take a stealthier approach. I I like to play stealthy. I will be streaming this probably on my Twitch and TikTok. You've continued to push on what's possible in terms of power enemy combatants. Yeah, free. Your enemies free. will be relentless. Constantly it's called, isn't it? It's just it's just called at the end of the day. But caught off escape routes. Push on player's location and force them to think on their feet. I am hoping to sort of do a different take on it. And where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. See, I'm not the keen on that. Particular takes place in a vast desert in Iraq. You and your team are hunting down missile launchers with the SAS. It's one of the largest campaign maps that we've ever created. Ah, I don't like that. No. I really don't like it when the. I, I don't know about you guys. I don't like it when it gives you a big map and you uh, like find your approach. I don't like that. I prefer just to be a really tight campaign mission. Contrast and look and like, I, well. that, that's just what I grew up on. Like, I don't like this open world. In an opulent casino in Southern Europe. Like, it's missions. unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of Northern Russia. Yeah, so they are going like all well, all, like all around the world with it, which is which is cool. We are different. excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. RCXD. Oh, RCXD. Trap, adrenaline stem, homing knife. Ooh. Disruptor. Oh, all these are going to be in the multiplayer, man. Trolling's going to be back. Yeah, it looks, it looks decent. It looks decent to be fair. The campaign is grounded within an expanded campaign hub called the Safe House. You might remember we also had that in Black Ops Cold War. But this time, we wanted to think a little bit more broadly about the environment. We chose to have our team's hub located in a more naturalistic setting. So, it's in an abandoned manor by an ocean cliffside. Nice. What's most unique is that it used to be a KGB black site, which was operational Guess during what? the 50s and 60s. Bet you can decorate this it. brings a lot of intrigue to the safe house and will allow players to explore and discover secrets from the past. I mean, it's only a safe house. It's also bringing that, back the that, evidence like, board, which is still the same that is it? experience, but with brand new upgrades. Guess players what, guys? Can view the campaign outline, There's a safe house. And Whoa. And analyze evidence collected throughout missions. Few dialogue options looking around the place. Okay. Capture. Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go. Cool. That was sick. That was that was pretty sick. I'm not going. <laughs> that was that was that was cool. I, um metal posters from displate. <clears throat> like I think COD's really going downhill. Um and Obviously, people are going to be playing the campaign, I presume, once. I don't think you replay a COD campaign. Like, for example, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the originals. Solid franchise. Solid franchise. Even the newer ones, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, they were decent games. They were all right. Um... Just, I don't know, they've lost the spark, man. I don't know if we're, like, getting older or if they're just getting worse. <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand um, what's happening with COD. Uh, but I'm going to do the zombies mode now, and then we'll have a look in the multiplayer. So, yeah, we'll have a look at zombies. It's only a minute long, so we'll check it out. Okay, now zombies, apparently they're going to the normal... Oh, 
Okay. Ground based zombies is back. And we're Come on. Up Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be two brand new maps available. Ground based zombies. Mix of fan favorite features. Pack a punch and machine. Discover. For those new to zombies, Galvin Knuckles. Come our on. Unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons. This and is what I love. Deadly enemies and tons of secrets to uncover. Oh, that the looks clean. Legacy of zombies is incredibly important to Treyarch, and we are so proud of what the mode is bringing to players in Black Ops 6. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement Mystery systems box. will also be coming to zombies. Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round-based zombies. Be on the lookout for more oh. intel coming later this year. Oh. That's it. it. Oh, okay. Well, that's detail matters. That's zombies. I go to artlist.io. Apparently. Oh, well, there you go. Um, I, I, I expected more, but there, there you go. Um, okay, so is there anything else to look at? I think there was multiplayer, right? Multiplayer overview. We'll do that. All right, the Black multiplayer. Ops 6 user Let's go. Is all about focusing players on what, what we they got. need when they need it, and our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to the ammo widget to in-game notifications, the Black Ops 6 HUD combines clean. some of the best designs and clean, clean hood. streamlined experience. Clean. For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance. Oh. Streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Nice. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. Want to play hardcore anywhere or finally put the mini map in the bottom left? Those are oh. options as well. See, that's new. That's Not different. Not only does oh. the HUD give players important status, it connects them to the world and helps them feel rewarded for being awesome. As players track that elusive challenge or target their next level unlock, Black Ops 6 delivers an end to end experience. Almost missed. With almost lobby. missed. Into combat and cool. Back, yeah, I like, I like this. I like this already. Celebrated in a big way. Come on, come on, Trey. Out, come on, hit us in the limit. Here's, get them snipers out. Let's go. What we got? Progression. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for how we used to handle prestige. Traditional prestige is back in Call of Duty with Black Ops 6. We've pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems Ooh. and are going bigger and more Ooh. rewarding than ever. Players who reach max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, Good. start fresh with relocked gear, nice. and go through the leveling journey again. Love that. Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges, each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. Players who make it through prestige Ooh. 10 aren't done. Instead, they'll graduate into prestige master with a thousand additional levels Ooh. to climb through. And Classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough. I like to that prestige to master. Oh the my full days! The prestige system is available on day one nice. in Black Ops Six. That's what we want. Good man, good man. Nice, mate. They're showing off a lot of shotguns in this trailer, you know. Multiplayer, come on, hit us with it. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core play styles for launch. Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and oh. counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. All of our weapons, gear, and Three gadgets in multiplayer styles. have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning with Black Ops 6. Now I said we're only getting a taste of MP today, but of course that I'm means really you're going to get some early details on maps. We're happy to announce that we will be launching with 16 all new and 16 maps. maps. We've got 12 core 6v6 and four strike maps, which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2. What do players like? What do 2v2? we know that they want? So we're Come back on. to our classic three lane maps. 
We've got fast, frenetic experiences, and we have that balance with more Man, medium the, size. The, the hype like me up, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. The hype, the yeah, hype me up. But still have meaningful decisions for the player to make. The maps have their own stories, and we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign, after you finish it. So don't want to get into too many spoilers there, but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens. Solid. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Guys, that was Black Ops 6. Obviously, we looked at the campaign. Tiny little smudge of the zombie mode, and then a little bit of the multiplayer as well. Um, campaign. I think they're trying something new. Obviously, well, not not something new, like, but the, the, I guess they're experimenting. You know, graphics look solid. Gunplay looks really nice, and I'm liking the cinematic stuff. Like the way they're saying that, that you're traveling all around the world. And um, the maps, uh, destinations are different. And um, some maps are really like open, and and you can sort of make your own choices if you do it stealth or loud. Obviously, they've got like a heist mission in there. Looks pretty cool, to be fair. I'm, I'm down to give it a go. So yeah, I'll probably hit this with a pre-order, I would say. Uh, zombies, obviously, we didn't get a good look, but it's going to the normal round-based zombies maps, which just works. I, I hate the ones with the missions, and uh, not the missions, like the stories and things. I don't like that. I just, just give me a, like an, a map that I can just get to the highest level of zombies with a pack punch machine, the mystery box, and just playing with friends and just having a solid fun time. Like that's, that's just what I want from zombies. Um, zombies look pretty scary though. I'm not going to lie. Um, the multiplayer looks nice. It looks nice. Looks fast paced. Love the map design. Um, looks colorful and popping. Um, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued about the, the multiplayer. 16 maps at launch as well fantastic Treyarch that is beautiful so I'm looking forward to Black Ops 6 are you looking forward to Black Ops 6 let me know in the comments down below and uh, hopefully I'm going to get this out as soon as possible hope you guys enjoy I'll see you all in the next reaction so yeah much love take care and peace